Um, she looks great in that video. That's all. I don't say concerning that, but she looks great. So I got no problem with this being on YouTube. Beautiful woman. Looks great. Um, as far as the whole thing about her being some type of hypocrite, she's not. Some of you people use words and don't even have any idea what the words mean. Uh, in order for a person to be a hypocrite, they have to be doing something bad. And then at the same time criticizing others for doing it. Gia has made it quite clear. Or Kina Kara, that was her porn name. Has made it quite clear that she not only has gotten out of the porn industry, but she no longer even watches porn. So, you know, if she want to have sex, she has sex with whoever she wants. But she's not into getting it filming, being filmed anymore or watching it herself. So she's out of the business. She's out of the industry. And she says she is. I believe her. Um, I also think that a person that's been in the porn industry is ten times more qualified to tell you whether it's good or bad than somebody that's never been involved in it. You can have a million Christians and people of moral folks talking about how bad the porn industry is, but they're nothing compared to the ex-porn people that... Uh, talk about it and talk against it. I mean, because they are uniquely qualified to tell you if it was bad or good, if it's good for anybody to be doing that type of thing. So, instead of coming down on people that have been in the industry and talk against the industry, you need to listen to them and pay attention because they know what they're talking about. They did it. They're not just talking about it. They did it. So, they saw it mess up people's lives. They saw it hurt people. They saw uh, the, the destructive way, the destructive effects that it had on various people's lives. They saw probably some people get AIDS or some other uh, sexually transmitted diseases, and they saw people uh, go down the tubes mentally because they couldn't deal with the guilt of doing that because they were as embarrassed that their family members would find out what they were doing, or because they were ashamed, or you know. So they've seen all the bad that the porn industry have done, they have been affected by their own feelings of guilt. Uh, they, have, they, have, they, have been, they themselves may be ashamed of some of the things they did. You know, and, and, and they don't want anybody else to go down the same path that they went down. They want to try to tell others, hey, this is not the right way, this is not the best way to make, be making money. The best thing to do is go out and get a job that, that you, you know, you will have no reason to be embarrassed in front of anybody concerning. And those in the porn industry that are happy, that aren't ashamed, that, that well, that's them. But a lot of people in that industry, as, as Kenna Carr or will tell you, are not really happy or miserable people. They, they, they're guilty about it. They're hiding it from their family members. They don't want people to know, you know. I mean, on some of the videos and I've watched porn myself you know they're like uh, is my family going to see this anything you got to say is my family going to see this or you got to worry about if your ex pastor or your pastor or, or somebody that you respect if you're worried about somebody seeing it you probably shouldn't be doing it <laughs> you know so I'm 100% I'm behind Gia uh, you people can judge all you want you know she did it she's out of it She's cool with me. End the story. Bye-bye.